Trump is in trouble? Yes. He has a Russia problem? Yes. All those are true. At the same time, we know one thing that is very important, and that is Republicans want to effect a change that will potentially last long enough to pay off their investors, investors in their campaigns. This is important because a lot of people aren't talking about this. Republicans know that they're likely to go down in 2018, but they're all going to be paid off in the long run. But here is what I think is the issue with Trump and Russia. Remember, it is a political issue for Trump. It is likely not going to be a legal issue. It's probably going to be a legal issue for those people around him. Some of them may go to jail. Some of them may be embarrassed. All these things are possible, in my opinion. The only thing that brings Trump down is something that is political called the impeachment. And right now, Republicans are in control of both the Senate and the House. Trump doesn't want to be impeached. And the Republican Congress, they don't want to talk about impeaching Trump until they get their will. Their will is the destruction of Obamacare. Their will is a huge tax cut. Their will is to get rid of the inheritance tax. All they need from Trump is a right hand to sign. So they are going to do whatever is necessary to keep Trump alive for these signatures. And that means Trump for sure does not get impeached in these next two years. Suppose the, the Democrats take over Congress and the Senate. There may be votes in, in Congress to impeach him in 2019, but there won't be votes in the Senate to take to kick him out of office. Even if they kicked him out of office, uh, Pence will be in the wings to ensure that no law gets passed to repeal what occurred in 2018 and 2017. Which means the wealthy plutocrats have three years to transfer their wealth tax-free. People, we have to see the big picture. These guys don't love Trump. In fact, they hate Trump. But Trump is the right hand to get a bill passed. So they're going to protect him as best they can because for them, it's not about ethics. It's about money. So those of us who are sitting back here wanting to get this guy in Russia and we are continuously spending our time on Russia. It, Russia is important, but we have to spend our time on other types of activism to stop these guys. We have to disrupt. We have to resist. We have to make these guys know that the pain will be dear. Some of them really want that. 200 and something thousand dollar job that they have there in Congress. So we have to get to enough of these guys so that they don't go with the plan. The president is safe from Russia almost completely. No matter what you hear on TV, the guy is going to be here till at least 2019. Russia is not less than it is, but we have to look at it pragmatically we also have to look at, at it analytically and what it means for middle class America, working class America, working America. Folks, please remember to share these videos. It is imperative that we get these types of words out because you notice you never heard that on TV. And by the way, what I'm saying is not that, oh, I'm so damn smart. That's not the case at all. The case is they are smart. They know not to bring it up to the masses because the masses will then revolt. So they know what information they want you to know. They know what information they don't want you to know. So we need to make sure and share all this stuff and, on, and let folks understand what is going on here. That is the reason I don't get hyped up about Russia. If you notice, uh, most of the blogs that I've been writing about recently, I haven't even touched Russia. I mean, people are seeing Russia all over the place. Why do I need to get on the Russia bandwagon? I care too much about what's going on with middle class America, working class America, and all these folks. That's what I care about. And what I, the, the part that I care about Russia is how Russia potentially impacts that reality. So anyhow... <laughs>